find this app on Play Store. I'm going to leave the link in the description below so that you can easily access it. So if you uh, download this app from Play Store and then you open it, like you, uh, it has some paid version, like you can pay other things, you can, but you can also use it for free, which is okay. If that is what you want, you are going to use this app free of charge. And but of course, sometimes it has some limited functions, but it's the best app you can ever use. So let's go to let's let's assume we want to add photos, right? I like want to add photos to our PDF. I'm going to show you with my document here. So when I look through, I can see this of the the best marble recipe. It's a PDF I created. So I click that. And then I want to edit it, right? So I want to add a photo to this. What I do is that I go up here. I click there. So I go to insert. I click on insert. So it gives me this this bar here. Where you see this icon, you know, things like that. You can add an attachment. You can add, uh, you can, you can do voiceover, stuff like that. So. Uh, let's say we want to add uh, an image to this PDF. I click on that on that icon, and we wait for it to take action, right? So, like when you click now, it's going to it's going to take you to to your uh, internal story where you can pick the photo you like. But on this PDF, I would like to add an image of of uh, of queen queen cakes, right? So cupcakes, others call it muffin cakes. Uh, so I want to make it look very professional, you know, very, ama very amazing. So that the person that is reading can get to know what I'm trying to uh, talk about. If they are trying to make some, uh, some, some muffin cakes, they know that this is the procedure and this is how I want my muffin cakes to look like. So you want to show your, uh, your, your people that what you're doing or your document is very professional because that way it will sell more, right? So uh, that is it. Let's add this, right? So uh, <coughs> excuse me. So if I it's supposed to take me to. Uh, you tap that and then you tap on your screen you see this interface if I go to gallery I should be able to select the photos I want so I come here the photo I want is in I download it from from Pinterest so this is the photo I want I add it there so I wait for it like to get to my my document I can resize it the way I want just by clicking on the photo then dragging it to the position I want it to be. Yeah, you can adjust it by holding one of the corners like that. You can increase the size just by doing that. You hold the side or one of the corners and then you drag in and out depending on what you want. So that way, if I have my photo here, this is very professional, guys. This is very nice. I've never seen uh, any app that can allow you to do that. But this app is an amazing app. And it does it freely, you know, free of charge. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to pay for what I'm doing here. You don't have to, you know, it has very cool features. So, ladies and gentlemen, this app is an amazing app. So, let me tell you, uh, let me take you to another interface, like what it can do. Assuming I want to... I'm done with editing now. I want to export, so I go to these three dots here, the upper right corner, and then I click on export. So you can export identical copy, you can export flattened copy, you and uh, you can reduce the size of the copy. You can make it permanently cropped, or you can put some password to protect it. So I just want to uh, export the identical copy. That is it. You can you can save it to the the Zodi drive now what is amazing is that these guys give you one gb of storage free of charge now you can store it you can uh 
take their storage to this app like on the web okay so you can save your work there you can keep your documents there but it's limited it's just one gb which is uh, which is not enough so i would like to save my things most of the documents on my i save most of my documents on my local device so i save to local device and there it is so you can save it select the folder you want to save it to uh, maybe like if I, I say let me save it I, I received so i just click on received that stuff is open and i say save here is my document that's how it looks it's just like that very cool very amazing this is very helpful you guys very amazing so uh assuming i want to do something else i click up there the drop down uh menu like i want to prepare a form you can prepare a form if you want you can annotate your document you can view you can draw anything you want on the document you can sign you can redact you know so let me go back and show you some other things so with this app you can get to edit your image you know you turn images into your into your pdfs like that's if that's what you what you want you can take photos from anywhere and then you make a pdf of those photos why do you want to make pdfs now pdfs are very amazing things once you have your work in pdf form like the format is kept intact can share with anyone but in the same format so like that is why most companies want you to edit your videos uh, i mean your uh, your documents uh, in a professional manner and then you send them pdfs so that you don't get to mess up your settings right so you can e-sign like you can create a signature and sign your document to make it more professional you can put text recognition OCR, right you can convert images and pdf scans into searchable pdf files right scans you can imagine scans into searchable pdf files right you can convert your pdf into word excel PDF, like html you know hypertext markup language files you get uh, like for websites and all that you can use this app to make all those things so i've never seen any uh any any uh, any document editing app that can do all these things right so you can convert to pdf you can manage your pdf you can reduct your pdf apply reduction on sensitive information in your pdf files assuming you want to hide some information you can use reduct but this feature is paid for but i want to tell you this is an amazing app you can use for free okay html to pdf just go to Play store like because this is what i've been looking for i've been looking for an app that can help me add photos to, to my documents right so i want to make them look very professional like i want to create so many pdfs that have images when i'm explaining people can get to see what i'm explaining what i'm talking about right so like so this is the app that can only help you guys save you and i feel so very 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 grateful to share it with you because that is what i do and i'm good at that and I'm, i will help you i will help you step by step get what you want i help you on uh on websites that can make uh that can help you make money you can earn from them you can just free of charge doing a few things here and there you know so i do a lot of things like that i'm not only reviewing apps but i'm also doing uh uh, things that will make you get so much acquainted like i give you practical things right so guys if that is your concern just press the like button right now comment if this is very helpful to you because that is very important to me like that is part of the growth that we have on this channel share the love just like i do share the love with one another respect each other and please get me the feedback of this working fine please let me know because many people out there also want to know the same things right so the more feedback you give to me the more comments you share there the likes you give me youtube is going to promote this video 
to so many people out there that may be looking for such and they get to be helped and that will make me proud that will make you proud because you have taken a very great step in changing our world ladies and gentlemen see you in the next video until next time peace love you Fight for financial freedom.